Right, so go ahead and just demonstrate first. One, two. I'm trying to go as fast as possible. Good. Okay. So on this one, here's your key things on the setup. Is that her hands? She's going to be on the heel, fingers to the stomach. That's what allows her to stay on the shoe the entire time, whether you're going extended load, what have you. Okay? So that's key. Fingers are like this. That allows her to stay on the shoe. What's even more key is your back and your secondary. You want to exaggerate this to your bases. and uh, You want them to think in this exaggerated motion. Will they actually do it to this degree? Probably not, but you want them to think about it this way. As it goes up, I want her to reach as far over as she can, and I want your back spot to reach as far over as they can. Get back in, top, in contact to pull it back to the front. If they sit and wait, it will over-rotate. It'll hit her much faster than it should. It makes it much more difficult. Okay, So you want them to be reaching and pulling it under control. You want the back spot to reach so they can help keep the feet in as much as anything else. Okay? Um, All right, so we'll go one more time. Good. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Okay, the only difference in going to the top, obviously, she doesn't speed up as, as far as when she goes. She's still going to try to ride it as an extension as far as possible, but when she starts to spin, it's a faster spin. Feet together. Most people spin to a target, then you pull to a skill. Once you get the target and the skill down really well, then you can pull through to lift, pull through to stretch, pull through quarter turn, air vest, whatever. Okay? Any questions on that? <coughs> 